The NDC's camp, flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama, says reintroduction of free sanitary pad initiative will be a priority if successful in staging a comeback to office. It is one of the demands made by teacher unions in a document presented to political parties for inclusion into the NDC's manifesto for the upcoming election. The policy that was intended in the previous John Mahama administration was largely criticized by opposition parties. In a meeting with the teacher unions, the former president revealed intentions to mainstream STEM and TVET education into secondary schools. Mr. Mahama made other pronouncements to overhaul education in the country. The provision of free sanitary parts for female learners in both basic and senior high schools was initiated under the SWAL NDC administration. If you remember, our opponents now in government mocked us and called it the PAD, PAD loan. For you, the unions, to have raised this as an issue in the concerns that you have presented to us means that our policy on sanitary parts was well thought through and needs to be looked at again. The NDC policy of infrastructure development will again be pursued vigorously to decongest the large class sizes. Abandoned infrastructure in the basic and senior high schools and TVET schools, including the famous e-blocks, will receive priority attention under a new NDC administration. The need to review and improve upon the free SHS TVET policy is no longer debatable. And Angel just mentioned it. We are happy we are on the same wavelength with regards to that. It is a must that we look at the implementation of free SHS again through stakeholder engagements to address the numerous challenges and strengthen its positives. It is thus not surprising that you have incorporated it into the document that you have presented us, which I call the Teacher's Manifesto. We are going to mainstream TVET and STEM into all secondary schools. We don't believe that STEM and TVET should be standalone in special secondary schools. We must mainstream them through all the secondary schools. And so in this regard, we will revamp the science resource centers in order that clusters of schools can use those centers. Luckily for us, the e-blocks have four laboratories in every e-block. And those laboratories are going to be used for TVET and STEM uh, education. The imperative of the free SHS secretariat being supervised by the education directorate is our considered view. The education service, which is an implementing agency, has the capacity to implement the free SHS policy. So we do not agree on a standalone free SHS secretariat. We think that it must be integrated into the education service as an implementing agency. The NDC will therefore integrate the free SH secretariat into the education service directorate and not have them exist as separate entities. I announced to the CHAS representatives last week that we would decentralize the school feeding program and return the responsibility for feeding the students uh, to the school.